you don't respect Madisonian checks and balances, if your guy doesn't win. So wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. Did y'all hear that? This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. What if I told you you could get your hands on some gold from one of the, if not the most important, shipwreck in our history? It serves as a snapshot of America's most historical era, California Gold Rush. It is the biggest contributor to the Panic of 1857. And no, it's not the Titanic. It's the SS Central America. And now you can own coins recovered from it. Each coin has a unique recovery number and comes in a quality display box with a certificate of authenticity. Go to www.noblegoldinvestments.com to get yours now. Protect your retirement with a Noble Gold IRA. You don't respect Madisonian checks and balances, if your guy doesn't win, if that's the new rules of engagement for this great republic, then just leave our country. Did y'all see Beaker? Huh? Did y'all see Beaker up there talking about, you know what reason? See, that now, see, that's another tactic because he's referring to, I guess, the, the I guess, the, what's going on in, in out in um, Arizona. Uh, with the results of, you know, the past, you know what, and doing recounts and stuff. Because, see, whenever you start seeing them start getting louder, more aggressive, more emotional on these networks, they are really letting you know that you're getting closer and closer. Like the, um, I think it's called the kill bird or the killing or I forget the name of the bird. But when you get close to its eggs, it starts stirring up a lot of, you know, you know kill deer. That's what it's called. Now, just like the kill deer, when you get close to its nets or its eggs, it wants to lead you away from that by putting on an emotional display, acting like it's hurt, making all kind of noises, flip flopping around. And you go, whoa, whoa, wait, what's going on over here? Now, while you're looking at the kill deer acting a fool over here, you're missing the fact that, hey, that nest is sitting right there. I'm getting close to the nest. So now they put this guy out there to act as if simply wanting these folks to be accountable to prove every single one of these folks who cast their vote was legit is now a threat to our democracy. And if you support that, and you're not willing to accept results of something that had a whole bunch of discrepancies, whole bunch of folks who signed under oath that they witnessed these things, and a whole bunch of surprisingly media outlets that support the Democrat party silence anyone who brought out any of this evidence, talked about this, um, any of that stuff. You want us to be silent? You want us to just accept it? You want us to just suspend what our eyes saw, what our common sense saw? You want us to be able to do that based on your emotions and your anger? And then at the end of that, if we're not willing to accept it, we should just leave our country. As we said for four years, watching them throw a temper tantrum, saying that the election was illegitimate, Hillary Clinton, he knows, he knows he's not a legitimate president. We watched them reject the results. They didn't want the electoral votes to be counted. We watched them say he's not my president. And we watched them unleash folks that were destroying property, to intimidating people, doing everything they can to make Trump's life a living hell and everyone else that voted for him for four years. And now all of a sudden after, oh, now these, remember, the stuff that they were throwing, the temper tantrums, the fit, were not even based on the stuff that we observed. There was no folks boarding up stuff when Trump beat Hillary. There was no folks saying, back up off of us. You're not allowed to do oversight and watch what we're doing. There was no all of these crazy, just last minute changes to the voting process. There was no folks written affidavit saying that we witnessed voter discrepancies and fraud. there was no folks counting in the middle of the night in places they shouldn't be counting in there was no video footage of folks you know uh counting and stand behind and all of that there was no random just you know voting outlets just shutting down shutting down all at once in the middle of the evening and then somehow the next morning, uh, the, the person that was losing by hundreds and thousands of votes now is up. And none of that happened. And yet they threw a full fit. If anyone should have been told to, if you don't like the results, leave the country, it should have been MSNBC, CNN, the Democrat Party, Antifa, 
and of course Black Lives Matter and every other human that bought into these false narratives and started tearing up the country because they felt that Trump uh, won because of what? Because of what? White nationalism? Because of what? Racism? Because of what? None of the stuff we witnessed, that's for sure. And when people tell you, man, Trump won, he stole the election, and you ask them how, they can never tell you. They'll just say stuff like Russian, collusion, where Russians helped him. How? Exactly how? Oh, by buying, what, $250,000 or so worth of Facebook ads? That swayed everybody, right? I had to destroy this dude. <laughs> Beaker suck. God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like. Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time. Kevin's Corner. Take care.